Hey guys, it's Ghost, and today I'm going to be doing, well basically I'm going to be actually showing you something for once, I'm going to be showing you um, the installation of my projects that I've been working on for quite a long time. Now this has been, um, hmm, 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 um, actually, I've been working on this project for quite a long time, and I'm just going to show you guys the installation today. So this is actually um, like a quick video just to basically inform you that I am making this project which actually extracts SS files into a folder in the, in the folder in the folder in the folder. Got that? <laughs> Anyways, let's get started. So if we open up the project, we have the actual software right here. I'm not going to click it because you'll see the code right here, so no. <laughs> I'm going to convey it to the next year when it's finished, so you, you'll be able to find it. Anyways, the installation is in software. Okay, so um, whatever you do, never open this if you actually ever download this thing, um, because um, this has a likely chance of actually crashing the computer. Like if you just run this, you want to right click on configuration first, and this will come as a BAT file actually, so and a DIP configuration. Now this should pop up. You have set variable one. Don't touch any of the other ones or any of the other piece of code. So just set variable one, and you put this to what current Windows you're running. Um, so there's 32 bit, 64 bit. Um, I'm running 64 bit, so I'll type in 64 bit as set variable one. Simple as right. Now you just go to exit and save. Now still don't run this. Just run this. And um, as you can see, at first it will be a black screen. Now just you know, give it a few, give it a few seconds to load. Okay, now it's just a compute dot bit set sixty four, whatever you set it to sixty four or thirty two. So just make sure that you set the variable before you actually run this. And now it will say, please wait. And as you can see, it's now entered CTWTP um, as well. So now it should say sending settings to WeTools XE. Don't worry, it'll do everything it needs to do. Now let's say now it's a processing after it's done that. This may take a few seconds slash minutes, depending on how fast your computer is. So processing. And now when it's done that, it should say set. Now still don't close the program straight away. You have to wait until it closes automatically. There we go. So now it will send all the th all it needs into the Wii tools right here. And yeah, I am going to be finish this program as quick as I can, guys. Um, I may do, I may do like other videos of other parts of it, you know, if I get them finished, because like I've got the installation finished pretty fast. Um, because that's one of the main parts, isn't it? So um, yeah, let's go over it again. And what this program is going to do is in bin sls you will put your sls files in here that you would like to extract you will run wii tools i will also put the commands somewhere like the commands for the wii tools software um and then when you the the extract command there might be other commands you know it might not just be this one the extract command you never know in the future technology might go crazy i know that so you just use the extract command it'll be it will be a bit hard for this time, but you get used to all the commands because you do. They are sometimes a bit complicated. And then when you when it's extracted, it'll say done and all that, and then it's just extract to this folder. Okay, guys, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. This GPMK12 signing out.